friends, welcome back to my channel, Home with Ashley. I think this will be Vlogmas number four. So I think it's gonna be a mish of some days, mishmash of some days. We did chocolate covered pretzels a little bit ago, a couple days ago, um, which here's the remainder of them left. So yeah, that's some left. And um, tonight, I think I'm going to clean up the kitchen. As you can see, it's kind of a mess and I need to get that cleaned up. I just got home from work. Oh, and here's one of my new sweaters. Uh, my favorite winter activity is going back inside where it is warm. Living in Nebraska, it's actually really nice out. It's 50 degrees, but the wind is kind of chilly still. So, um, so tonight we are going to do those reindeer noses. It's pretzel rings and Rolos. And then once those are kind of softened in the oven, you put a red M&M and it looks like reindeer nose. So I thought that would be an easy um, thing to do before or after dinner with the kids tonight. So, and I am not sure what else will be in the vlog. Oh, I did get a Kirkland's lamp the other day in the mail and I put that together. So I'm going to show that. And I just love it. I love my little um, corner. I'll show you guys. So this is definitely real life. Um, so don't mind the mess or whatever, but this is the lamp and I just really like it. It's very cute in this corner and it has a little button that you just step on and ta-da, the light comes on. So really cute, um, really cute and I like it. It just really makes this corner, um, just very, a lot more cozy, so. And I'll just come over here and show you guys some Christmas decor while I'm at it. Since life's getting away from me and I'm not doing a home decor thing or anything like that, home tour. So maybe I'll just put bits and pieces in my vlog to show you guys um, different areas of my house. So here, this snowman I got at a past job for Christmas from a boss. It's really cute, soft little snowman. Um, this is a tree I got from Target a few years i think last year on clearance um and these are actually breakable ornaments so i am cross my fingers they stay unbroken this sign is new this year from hobby lobby this is some antique ornaments i have collected and gotten over the years from my mom and then uh, i used to go antiquing so i believe these are just some ornaments i had from an antique store I decided to put them out. These are just some little bottle brush trees I got at Hobby Lobby this year. My girls picked out. And then just some floral stems I had on hand. A doable I had on hand. This is a wreath. I used a command strip to kind of put it on the back of that boot tray I have hung on the wall. Candy cane sign. I don't even know where I got that from years ago. These three houses are new this year from... Target. I believe they were on sale for $3.50, so I got them. This tree I've had forever, years, over 10 years before I had kids. It's a set of three. I have the other ones around the house. Um, a lantern I got a couple years ago. Target or Walmart, I can't remember. And some um, LED candles in there with the remote that I can turn on. Here is my tree I got last year at... I think I had it last year on Target on clearance after Christmas. And I just have these cute little um, chenille stem candy canes. I've had those for a long time. Put those on there. A bow from Ribbon I had last year. Ribbon I had last year. This garland I had, oh my gosh, probably 15 years ago. Um, I just put that on there and it's really cute. The pot I think is from Ikea. Then here's the table I had gotten from Marketplace for $20. Christmas cactus, still alive. Got it at Aldi's last week. Um, this is a bowl I got at a thrift store for $8, I believe. Just an ornament I stuck in here. This is just some greenery stems I had on hand. This is actually a mini wreath from Hobby Lobby, and I put that in the bottom of the bowl. A big pine cone I would gotten from a floral shop probably five years ago. I put that in there and some other pine cones. This joy sign I got at a thrift store this year. I believe it's from Hobby Lobby before that. Um, 
these ornaments were in a container from Dollar General. And I just love those colors. These bulb lights are from Target. Um, they are so cute, battery operated. And I just kind of put it in this bowl and I just think it's beautiful. And then I just have the um, battery pack right back here so it's easy to flip on and off. Then down here, lantern, I believe from Hobby Lobby with just some mini ornaments in it from Dollar General this year. A tree I got at a thrift store. A little Aldi's house I got last year on clearance. And then a green vase that I just put some floral stems from Walmart this year in. But um, yeah, so those are some of my Christmas decorating in here. All right, then on my table I have, this is a very impromptu decorate with me or home tour. So I have some trees in here and I have some battery lights that are snowflakes and they kind of fade in and out. Then I put some garland I had, just some cheap garland I tucked in here. Have some red shatterproof ornaments and then just some pine cones I had on hand. The elf made a swing out of the ribbon and um, so I tried to put it back because that darn elf likes to use my decorations sometimes. So that is the middle. All right, so here we have a snowman that I got from a craft show, a tree from the thrift store, and the bench I got at an antique store a couple years ago. Here I have the house from Hobby Lobby. The tree is from Walmart from last year, a bowl of antique ornaments and an antique bowl. And then there is our little elf Isabel is hiding up in the lamp that day. I love this. It is on our door and I just um, put a garland of lights, a string of lights on there, battery powered. My bell's from Hobby Lobby and the wreath is from Walmart from a couple years ago and I just love it. It is so pretty. Then I have my coffee sign, a jar of antique ornaments and a little tree. Uh, yes, my snowman is missing a nose and then a what? bath and body candle. And this night we decided to do reindeer noses. It is pretzel rings with Rolos that you put in the oven for a few minutes on 250 degrees for three to five minutes. And then when those are done, you bring it out and immediately put some M&Ms. Some of the girls put green M&Ms on it as Grinches, Grinch noses. Um, it was very cute, super easy, and a quick like after school activity to do or after dinner activity with the kids. It was so much fun, um, and the girls loved it. And then I just let them sit overnight to harden up, and then I put them in the um, in a Rubbermaid container. And then this was a couple nights before. This is when we did the chocolate covered pretzels. I wanted to share it with you guys. I don't know if I did share this in a previous vlog, but if not, I'll share it again. So we always do chocolate covered pretzels, and we did this, and then we did some Oreos too, which I don't think I showed. Um, but the girls have so much fun with the sprinkles. Um, and again, it's kind of messy and that is just fine. I also reuse those plastic containers and refill them with different sprinkles. So each of the girls have their own containers of sprinkles. All right, so I went to, I shopped online at Kirkland's and I found a lamp that I've been looking for for behind my chair that I got in the corner of our dining room. And I found it, it was like $100 off. It was $40 and free shipping. And it came today, so I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna try and put it together and see what it looks like. All right, so it looks like it came. It's pretty heavy, so let's see what we're working with. And I'm thankful my dog didn't chew the box. Let's see, it was just free shipping and $100 off pretty much. I was like, I couldn't pass that. And I've been looking for something. Yep, apparently I'm too lazy to go get a to go get a knife or scissors to open this box. So let's see what we got. No, well, looks like it's still in good shape. This is what I got. See that? It's a lamp, 64-inch Chloe black. 
So that is what I got. There's a lampshade. I said before, my glasses keep falling down because my daughter broke them. Yeah, she's looking at me over there. Yeah, she stepped on them and broke them right after I got them. But it's okay. Now she's giving me a sneak eye. Hey, Elena, can you grab me a little pair of scissors that are in the that drawer over there? Oh, right there. That one, yep. We like our tree. We do have gifts under the tree. I started that a couple of years ago. The gifts for mom and dad go under the tree. Santa comes Christmas Eve night. And Santa does the stockings and leaves the kids one gift under the tree. So, as we know, Santa is a busy man. What? Huh? Oh, and he's nice. Elena said, and he's nice. He's a busy man, but he's really nice. And we can't forget, like, Mrs. Claus. She helps out a lot, too, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it moves. Okay, this is interesting. All right, let's see. There must be a base or something. Maybe I should read the instructions. <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh. Heavy. Oh, here we go. Okay. But I have my yes, scissors. So as you can tell, this was a few days previous because I already showed you a picture of the lamp um, next to the chair. So it did turn out great. It took a little bit to assemble, but it honestly wasn't that bad. Um, and I just tried to do this in between everything else that is going on with Christmas and the holidays. The phone is dirty. I'm really sorry if this is blurry. I wish I had a keyboard. All right, and yeah, I think it's a little blurry, but I, as I said, I use my phone. I'm trying to do a no spend for YouTube, especially until I reach a thousand subscribers, because that is my goal to get a thousand subscribers. And I'm so excited. I'm at like 257 at the point of me um, editing this video. I am so excited um, to get there. I was never even expecting to get like 10 subscribers. So having 257 is great. Um, here I kind of sped it up, um, to show you how it gets assembled. Um, really easy. And my daughter's popped in here. That's my Lucy. Um, she popped in. It didn't take long to put it together. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have ordered anything from Kirkland's and how you like it and how it holds up. This is, um, I think the first time I've bought in a lamp from there. So we will see how durable it is with four children constantly turning it on and off. Um, but it's it's worked so far and the kids like it. Um, but definitely be sure to like this video and subscribe if you like these type of videos. Also, I would love for you to say hi in the comments. That would be great because I would love to say hi back to you guys. Um, yep, and here is the lamp all put together and a picture of it in done in my little reading nook. So thank you guys again so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. Um, my next goal is to get to 500 subscribers. So hopefully soon and I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon in my next video.